Okay, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a slab flower vase. <clears throat> the first step we're going to do is make a cube out of leather hard clay. So I'm, this is part one, I'm going to show you guys how to score and slip slabs of clay together to make a cube. Uh, these are the tools we're using, the knife, a sure form, and a ruler. And we'll use the pencil later to decorate. We're also going to use what's called slip. So slip is just really wet clay. Okay, so the technique we're going to use is called scoring and slipping. And you'll notice that the leather hard clay um, does not stick to itself. So we need to make it stick by scoring and slipping. So what we're going to do is where it touches together, and only where it touches together, we're going to score the clay. Scoring is making X's into the clay kind of deep. Both sides that touch need to be scored, so this side also needs to be scored. wet clay sticks to itself so all we're doing here is getting these edges wet again so they'll stick and the scoring helps the slip to soak into the clay faster so you're going to use a lot of slip on both sides and then you're going to go back and score again to push that slip into the clay even better And before that slip dries, you're going to put it together. So you're not just going to leave it setting there, you're going to push down, kind of slide back and forth. You can see the extra slip slides out. It's okay if you have too much slip. Not enough slip might be a problem. Once it stops sliding back and forth, it's stuck on there. So you can clean up the slip on the inside, the outside, and this ugly seam here we're going to get rid of after we're all done making the cube with our sure form. Okay, so our next piece is going to touch not only on the bottom, but you can see it touches on the side of the piece we just put on. I'm going to trace the bottom and I'm going to trace the side. I'm going to score this piece on the bottom and the side. I'm using a paintbrush here to apply the slip. You can use the knife or your finger also. Again, I go back, score, score. Scoring after the slip really ensures it sticks together well. I'm going to slide it back and forth and press it against this piece here. Wiggle it back and forth a little bit. And I can clean up that slip. Slip on the outside. See it's a little extra long here, so I'm going to use my ruler to cut that extra clay off. for my next piece.
Now if this isn't working out for you, it's probably not because you're doing it wrong. Probably just doing it at the wrong time. You want to make sure that your clay is leather hard, not soft or not dry. Okay, so you can see this piece is going to touch three sides. Trace. And I know this is a little long, so I'll just cut the extra off now. Hey Brands, keep our school clean and remember to put waste in its place. Hola Brands, mantenga nuestra escuela limpia y ponga la basura en su lugar. Mahalo Brands, hafiz a la mazata de nuestra sacana, porque es de un todo a un caer si no queda nada. Okay, and this top piece, before we put it on, we want to make sure it's all flush on the top. So you can use your knife and ruler if you need to cut a little extra off. You can also use the sure form to make it flush on the top. Sure form is like a cheese grater. It only works one direction. So on these ones you pull towards you. A little bit of clay comes off at a time. Makes it nice and flush. Okay, so we're going to score the top. This piece I've already got pre-scored. Okay, when I press down, I don't press down in the middle. Just press down on the edges so you don't smash your pot. Squirt that extra slip out. Your 
clean up the slip because the sure form when we use it we don't want any wet clay it kind of clogs the sure form doesn't work very well so clean up the extra clay okay so you can see how the clay is uneven there on the top I'm going to erase the seams with the sure form. You want to go with the seam. You don't want to go against the seam. If you go against the seam, it could pull apart. And we don't want that. Obviously you don't want to keep going or else you'll make a hole in your pot. Also we don't want that. When I set it down, it's a clean surface. Okay, I'll take a few more minutes and use this sure form to clean it all up. And in part two, I will be showing how to make it into a flower vase and decorate the sides with some lines and dots. <laughs> 